Cardborigami. What is that? I know what origami is, but cardborigami. Well, Tina Hovsapium joins me now to talk to me a little bit about what it is, cardborigami. It's something that you've come up with. Yes, this is my patented creation that I designed while at the USC School of Architecture. It's basically instant space or shelter, which provides privacy after a natural disaster or for the urban homeless who have no space of their own. And you can basically unfold the assembled shelter. It's ready to go. You open it up and use it, and then you can close it back to a fraction of the size for transportation or storage. So explain to people who, you know, are, haven't, are not familiar with this, like, is it, what is it made out of? How exactly do you open it up? I mean, what sure. was the engineering behind the creation? Sure. So the first step was to decide which material would be easily accessible, low cost and recyclable, and that was cardboard. And so we use cardboard, but it's treated with non-toxic treatments to make it waterproof and flame retardant so that it can be recycled again. And the folding structure of it is what makes it so easy to compact and reopen with no assembly required, which is based on the Japanese art of origami. How did you get into that? I mean, are you some amazing origami world expert and no, started it when you were two or like what happened? It's what funny happened? because of this, everyone thinks that I'm an origami expert, but yeah. I'm not. I actually, <laughs> after choosing cardboard, which is a paper-like material, the logical next step was folding an origami. So I actually, within a semester at school, is when I kind of mastered origami. It was really quick. So let's see, let's see how you've mastered sure. origami. And you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot as okay. well, but no promises. Let's do it together. Okay. So this is the main um, folding technique used to create the shelter, and it's called the pleat. And you basically fold the sheet you have in a diagonal, like an X, both ways. And so these are actually mountain folds. And then after this, you fold the paper in half, the opposite direction, which is a valley fold. And that creates a pleat. And so this makes, um, basically transforms the flat paper into something three-dimensional and structural. And this is one portion of the or cardboardigami that makes it so um, compact. So it's basically like. So is it flat and then you pop it open? Is it like flat like a cardboard thing and then you do, you pull something and it becomes an origami the shape? The shelter itself. Yeah. Actually, it's pre-folded into a compact shape. And then, so everything is actually folded like this in a kind wow. of row. And then it pulls out to become the structure that holds the roof up. So this is the main. It's fantastic. Thing. So, so how did how how did you come up with it? You were just folding origami one day and thought, hey, this could be a a, a shelter. Yeah, pretty much. There was a mini version of that that is a traditional origami fold, and I used that as the basis. Played with the dimensions and the geometry to create the roof, and then I had to come up with a folding pattern to make the floor and the doors that would all fold together. So that was kind of the more difficult part, but it really started. Are you quite mathematical? You have a good mathematical mind, um, or is it a very creative? It was mind more hands-on, yeah. yeah. And I think like definitely creativity had yeah. a lot to do with it, and I'm more visual, so I had to have like hands-on models. To so, make it um, what, what, so have you tested it in like? you know, places with, of extreme temperature or extreme heat or extreme, like a refugee crisis situation or ha has it, ha have you uh, stress tested? Uh, we have tested it. Currently, the only location we have tested is at Skid Row in Los Angeles. Um, and personally, I myself have slept in it with some volunteers to make sure that it's comfortable and it provides enough warmth when it's cold and it keeps you cool when it's warm. Um, for example, on the beach, like when it's chilly or windy, it provides great protection to wind and noise and impact loads as well. Um, for example, compared to a tent, that would be kind of noisy in the wind, or if something fell on it, it wouldn't be as structural. So those are the things that we have tested, but we, um, the goal is this year to utilize the Toyota grant to actually do a pilot program and get more quantitative and qualitative feedback about the shelter itself. 
What do you think is the question every woman should ask herself? Um, well, so I, I always think about what I'm doing with Cardboardigami and people think it's so extraordinary, but really any person, especially women, have the power to change the world and make a difference, even one individual. Just as long as you do something, if you see injustice around you, as opposed to just seeing that for what it is, thinking about how you can make a difference. And so I think everyone, um, especially women, because we're so powerful and strong, can ask themselves, like, what is the one thing that I can do to make a difference? What do you think is the biggest issue facing women in your region? Um, well, in Los Angeles, I think there's a lot of uh, stereotypical thoughts about super people are very superficial in LA, and I was born and raised in Los mm -hmm. Angeles, so I think for I us, love LA, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> the weather is great, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's more about like getting to that deeper level because we're all, you know, very multifaceted individuals and we all have our unique mission in life to do something so it's not just about the superficial appearance of us it's really about what we can do as an individual to change the world and finally what is the best advice you ever received never give up so there's been so many times moving forward with my project that I felt very discouraged or that it was never gonna get to help people the way I intended but I kept going and I feel like I'm finally going to get it out there to the people who need it the most. That's awesome. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.